Hey kids, it's Mr and Mrs Mr and Fly here, hope you're well, and you join us today in London's glittering East End. Okay, so what are we doing in London's glittering East End, I hear you say? Well, we're here for the uh, Bike Shed annual custom bike show uh, at Tobacco Dock, isn't Tobacco it? Tobacco Dock. Tobacco Dock. It's not been running for a couple of years because of the uh, COVID situation, so it's back now, bigger and better than ever. We've never been before. We did come last night, didn't we? Yeah. The opening event, which was absolutely brilliant. And we're back today for the Saturday uh, session. So it's going to be a bit of a mishmash of a video, this, because we're going to be, um, I'm going to be showing you some films that I did uh, last night on my iPhone, mixed together with some stuff that we're doing on this GoPro. So goodness knows what it's going to turn out like, but we hope you enjoy it. Okay, see you at the show. So we're just wandering up towards Tobacco Dock now and there's a bit of a queue of bikes parked out here so if you do want to come on your bike you can. And as the weather's so lovely it would have been a very civilised way to come here wasn't it but we yeah. went out and came by train, sorry <laughs> about that. I'm not even sure what it is to be honest, what does it say on it? Ultra custom, oh, so it's a, oh, it was a Honda of some sort originally. It's cool paint skin. Check out the um, suspension setup, it's wild look. Cool. It's my type of old fashioned bike. Great, yeah. nice to meet you. Cheers, enjoy Thank the you. show. Thank you. See ya. It's amazing who you meet at these events. Check out, it's only Freddie Dobbs. Now, if you don't know who Freddie Dobbs is, you need to get with the program, because this man, well, the new next big YouTuber, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> That's very kind of you. No, you definitely are. Very kind of you. Check out his YouTube channel, top fella. I've got a bit of a bit of a bromance thing going on here, he doesn't know this. <laughs> but anyway, you've been to the show before, haven't you? You're, you're younger and more <laughs> handsome than he is. 
Sorry. That, I will take that. Thank you so much. And you've Thanks got so hair. much. Yeah. <laughs> I can feel I'm getting a bit of a beating here. But anyway, <clears throat> really nice to meet you. Likewise. So you've been you've been to the show before, haven't you? Uh, I've been I think three times before. It's that's the best show for biking in the UK. It's, it's great, isn't it? The atmosphere, the the environment, just feeling like the streets rumbling away as you see all the bikes pulling up. It's it's just everything the UK is brilliant for, isn't it? For biking, we've got such a rich biking culture. It absolutely is. And what I like about this show in particular is it doesn't feel like being sold to all the time. Yeah. It? It's the lack of commerce. Yeah. Actually, it's really refreshing, isn't it? Yeah. It's something we were just saying. Looking around here now, if you look at these seats around here and the people that are around. Actually, having said that, I was just saying there's there's a lot of women here. Although now there's not so many. It's always but, but yeah, but normally you go to a bike show. Yeah. It's just blokes, know. you know, my age in leathers, wandering around, no women. It's fantastic to yeah. see such an inclusion of people. Because it's a it's a biking community. It's lifestyle more than anything, isn't it? That's, That's right. what's so good. That's how you're going to push biking. Yep. like into a proper modern thing that everyone's interested in. You turn it into a lifestyle thing, not just, you know, a man who's keen on going out at 130 miles down a sports bike on a Sunday in full leather. Absolutely. It's got to be go to the coffee shop, make it casual, like, you know, it's the whole lifestyle. I love everything. And the thing is about here, every one of these bikes has got a story behind it. Everyone's different as well, isn't it? Everyone's a piece of art. Um, I mean, any of these you could put in your living room, could you? And you'd be quite happy if she would let me. Yeah. Although, although it, it is amazing, it's like an art exhibition. And you're quite right, it's about lifestyle. So I like going out on my little one, two, five. Yeah. Yeah. Going out for coffee, cake, sandwich, whatever. Yeah. I might never progress it more than that, but I like what I do. Yeah. And that's good enough. And do you know what? A 125 is every bit as good as a 600cc bike. That's honestly the thing I've learned. It doesn't matter if it's a 125 or 50cc. It all does the same thing. You get the same thrill. It doesn't yeah. matter at all. And you don't need to constantly upgrade to get bigger and better. And that's you don't have to worry about your li losing your license or worse. So yeah. yeah, I agree. I agree. Well, that's so true. Like what it's like in England, isn't it? You know, you can get these big powerful bikes, but how often do you go about 70? Well, exactly. Talking of England, you're off soon on another trip, aren't you? Tomorrow. You've been super busy. You're just back from Tenerife and Essex. <laughs> nice. I love that. I love that. Seriously, it was really nice. Yeah, I, I guess your videos come out this week on the Essex Sunday. Sunday. So, Sunday. wow, yeah. quick then. Yeah, Brilliant. yeah, yeah. Yeah, Monica's desperately at home editing. That's why she's not here. This could be confusing because this video is going up on Wednesday. So check out his video from last Sunday. <laughs> yeah, true, true, it's true, true, all very true. confusing. Uh, and then you're off to Barcelona, isn't it? Barcelona tomorrow. And this is your first time long trip on the Bonneville, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it is actually. Wow. Can't wait. It's still got How's the your backside? Oh, he's got a king and queen seat. All right. So it's like sitting on a sofa. It yep. is just heaven. So no issue. Have you ever ridden a gold wing, mate? Oh, no, I know. I watch your videos on that. Like that's that's MB. Come, come around and borrow it at some point. Yeah, I'd love you to. and Monica, you'll you'll be. Did you, you bring the interceptor here? I'll wrap this bit of video up because it'll go on too long. But anyway, I'd love to meet you, friend. Best of luck with the channel. And uh, no worries. And uh, check him out. Say Freddie Dobbs. That's the name of the channel, isn't it? Yep. And on Instagram as well, where he's mega, really. But I don't understand Instagram. <laughs>
Right, so we're just coming into the uh, Shed Rose um, Hall, which is where all the home built stuff is, or most of the home built, some amazing bits of kit in here. It's just wild here. I'm digging those white wall tyres. That's quite smart. Check out the fishtail pipe. Looks incredibly narrow, doesn't it? Fancy it, 22 grand, look at that. Looks really nice actually, doesn't it? My sort of colour scheme. Yeah. Quite smart. What a beaut. And for record, if you all fancy it. Give Rick a call. <laughs> So this is where electric bikes may score. Check these electric assist pedal bikes. See if there's the battery there. Quite cool if you like that sort of thing, do you think? Yeah, it's got my name written on it. Has it? What, the pink one? Probably the green one. Need for a barber shop. Okay, so there we are. That was the uh, London Bike Shed Custom Show. First time we've been, as I say. What do you think of it, Carol? It was excellent. Really good. Completely different to any other bike show. Uh, lots of bikes to see. Indiv all individual works of art, all with their own story. Um, and really a real mix of people as well. Yeah, wasn't it? yeah. Lots of uh, ladies there, families there, younger people there real mish mash of people yeah yeah and, um, and bikes as well and bikes and it's it's like an art exhibition really rather than a bike it show. is every bike individual everyone has a story which is great but if you're interested in custom bikes or you're thinking of maybe making your own having a crack so it's getting noisy there's a lot of park bikes here um then a great yeah. place to go for inspiration i think yeah, as well, isn't it? yeah yeah you can walk around your heart's content yeah. and see loads of different stuff so i often get asked what is my favorite bike show in the uk and i have to say now that this is in my top two this and the abr festival are my top two bike shows this doesn't feel um like you're being sold to all the time it's the lack of commercial aspect i quite liked yeah. didn't you yeah um, it's very chilled yeah yeah very nice so uh, yeah if you're at all interested do come along next year thank you very much indeed to michelin for asking us along we've had a great time hope to come back next year all right that's it for now anything else to say in that case until next time this has been mr and mrs missing and fly cheerio